Category 5 TV with Hillary Rumble, Krista Wells, Eric Kidd, Rachel Zhu, and Robbie Ferguson. And now, here's a clip from Category 5 Technology TV. Brought to you by Eco Alkalines, environmentally responsible batteries, cat5.tv slash eco. Um, how do I add what pulse to boot in Ubuntu? Oh, what pulse is uh, a tool that allows you to track every keystroke, every mouse movement, all oh, this stuff. Wow. So, so you can basically see how many kilometers you've moved your mouse, how many times you've clicked it, how many That's key presses you've clicked. It also allows you to see, and I'm using what pulse at at my office. Oh, okay. Because what it allows me to see is it allows me to see in a in a graphical representation what keys I use the most. So I can really mm. get a sense for well, okay, I really don't use these keys over here, but I really am hardcore using these ones, so maybe that's why I'm having problems you know, with, hand with my hand hurting or whatever at the end of the day. Uh, so oh, then cool. I'm looking at that and I'm saying, okay, now what would this look like under Dvorak layout? So I'm using that what pulse data to, to figure out what is going to be the best wow. Keyboard layout for me. I'm so used to QWERTY, but I'm I'm wanting to switch. So interesting. So, but what Pulse really at, at its core is just it keeps track of how many times you click, and it's it's kind of fun. You might have seen me on Facebook or Twitter a couple times where it says I I have clicked yeah six hundred thousand clicks. I never in the past. got it before, but now that makes a little bit more sense okay. to me. I've I'm gonna like, head over to cat5.tv slash pulse. And when you go there, this is actually uh, taking you to the Category 5 TV team. And you'll see we've got Garby, myself, Pyrus Rock, Crucial Tortoise, and G-Dog 1985. Nice to have you guys as a part of the team. Uh, and you can join the team. It's free software, and uh, this will let you uh, join in. So if I click on my name. Now, Garby's in the lead right now as far as our team goes. But you can see that um, my, li my Linux system is the red. So I'm pretty much exclusively li using Linux and, uh, and sometimes using Windows with the green. So here's my Debian system, 573,000, pardon me, uh, keystrokes. Wow. <coughs> and that's uh, since I joined just end of March kind of time. So wow. with that software, very, very cool stuff. You can see graphs of your computer usage and things like that. Uh, and like I say, you can see what keys you use the most. It's very cool. It's all web-based. And so in order to get that to auto start, there's a little bit of a trick to it. I'm going to bring up my auto start applications here. I guess we reminded them of the question because uh, we were talking about auto starting. I'm going to go back to my startup applications. And uh, I actually, I don't think I have what pulse running on this system. No, I don't because, because I use Synergy. Oh. And unfortunately, here's the sad thing. I don't have a keyboard plugged into my computer because I've got the studio. And if you're watching Backstage Pass, you know that... <laughs> uh, I'm not going to have this many keyboards in front of me. I've got no. one keyboard, one mouse. And Synergy is a brilliant tool that lets me share that keyboard and mouse with all of my computers in front of me, right? So Ooh, multiple cool. computers, and I drag them across from one screen to the other. But unfortunately, that makes it so what pulse doesn't work. So it, you have to be using the actual physical keyboard, install it on your laptop, your desktop, things like that. So in your system, when you create a what pulse um, Auto start. You're obviously you've got a, a what pulse working. You've been you've been pulsing. So, uh, what pulse? Of course, you can get if you go to cat5.tv/pulse. You'll be able to download the free software for Windows, Mac, or Linux. The the trick is, here's the thing. By default, you're probably going to say, okay, well, I want to go, you know, home slash demo slash scripts is where I saved it, and then what pulse is the name of the file with capital W capital P. Okay, so wherever you saved that script to. I'll zoom in a little bit, just in case you're in a, a lower resolution for you. But the problem with that is that auto start applications take place a little bit before your desktop is finished loading. And what Pulse says, OK, well, I can't load because the desktop hasn't loaded, and I don't have access to the keyboard and mouse. So what you need to do is you need to go sleep 30 ampersand ampersand just before that command. What that's going to tell it is when I boot my system, when I log into my system, now I want you to wait 30 seconds. That's what sleep 30 means, and then ampersand ampersand means, and then run the script. So that way it gives your desktop environment enough time to boot up and run, uh, but then, uh, then it loads what pulse. And at that point, you should have absolutely no trouble. It's going to work just fine for you. So a little bit of a trick when it comes to setting it up to auto run in Linux, but 
very simple as you can see. Uh, Windows, uh, of course, has just a little checkbox that says auto start, and that's cool. Uh, Linux works just a little bit differently. So, good luck, and we hope to see your pulses at cat5.tv/pulse. Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.